All right, what's up, Hot Squad? And I'm finally, finally back, y'all. Yes, yeah, sir. So I'm finally back after the last few weeks. I've been extremely busy with college and other important things going around with my life. So I'm finally back doing reactions. So thank y'all guys for being so much, so much for being very patient because I have a lot of videos to catch up to this entire week. So if you see my community post, I will do four reactions today, four tomorrow, and maybe five. Saturday, if I you know if I got much to do Saturday, but yes, Hot Squad, I'm finally back. Your man's is finally back. So Hot Squad, yes, we're going to start a new start new reactions today, y'all. So let's get straight to it. So Hot Squad, I'm going to watch Blank Boys the Boondocks recap. That's right. This is actually the first Boondocks recap I've seen from Blank Boy, of course. I believe so. But yes, this boom this boondocks recap is called when Huey and Riley got jumped by the hierarchy so of course obviously I remember this episode when the hierarchy beat Riley and Huey's ass and that was I think it was on season three because they were part of Mina's crew so and I binge watched the the boondocks on Hulu years ago binge watched the hell out of it from seasons one through four of course season four is trash <laughs> no doubt season four is trash very major disappointment I mean it's just like, damn, man. The first three seasons were one of the greatest. The Booty War episode, particularly, is my favorite. It's the, the funniest episode of the series, hands down. I mean, no, no shadow of a doubt. I mean, I know there's a lot of funny episodes in this in the show, but the Booty War episode really stood out for me, honestly. So it's really nice to see, you know, Blank Boy doing a recap of the Moon Dots the Hot Squad. Without further ado, let's jump right to it. Let's waste no time. It's now time to check out Blank Boy's Boon Dots recap. Of Riley Huey, Huey getting jumped by the hierarchy. Let's get straight to it. It's about to go down. And now, our feature presentation. So it starts off showing a car rolling up to Riley and Huey's elementary school. And that's how you know these motherfuckers got no shame. You think <laughs> eight year olds is not crazy? Right. <laughs> here for Huey and Riley Freeman. Bro, I thought elementary Freeman. schools required you to have some sort of slip or something before you picked one of the kids up. This is an all-white neighborhood. They saw two black people walk in and ask for the only two black kids in the school and just assumed, yeah, this guy would be their auntie. <laughs> no. Didn't even question it. Huey Freeman with the fat-ass afro please report to the principal's office. So Huey heads out and meets up with Riley in the hallway. They're both just confused as hell right now and know something is off. What's going on? I don't know, they said our aunt and uncle came to pick us up. Man, that shit capped. These niggas <laughs> trying to do us like Biggie Smalls. So Damn. Let's go. The two black and white TV watchers realize that something <laughs> is off because Huey and Riley still have not reported to the principal's office. <laughs> now they're getting impatient. We can't go too long without our carrot juice. <laughs> Man, where the fuck carrot is juice. this classroom? The moon? Karen goes to offer them some water, but before she could even turn around to give it to them, they're Damn. gone. Yep. At this point, I already know it's up for Huey and Riley. They're beefing with Hidden Leaf Ninja. They stand no <laughs> chance. Imagine one second you're very busy not paying attention in algebra class, and then the next second you get impressed outside by two dudes from the civil rights era. To be fair, they are literally the hateocracy, so they were probably yeah. doing that nigga I'm okay. Have a yeah. about this dick, pussy? <laughs> this wow, wow, wow. Hell yeah, no. Nah. Nicholas a lesson. They start busting out their try hard causes and everything. The <laughs> try hard causes. Really taking them serious. What are you really about to teach us? You gonna hit us with some Neolithic ass moves while talking yeah. about some? What y'all know about this? <laughs> Yo, Huey, you see these two dinosaurs? They tweaking. Yeah. They look at Huey's face. He knows these aren't any regular old dudes. They no, they sure are one. Neutrons are none like that. So he grabs Riley's arm and tries to skedaddle. But these two have higher verticals Jeez, than their dude. age and wasn't just gonna let them get away so easily. And Riley just can't believe what he's seen. Damn. These two got stronger knees than D Rose. Damn. And they split off into two different isos. It's time to get into boxing. Riley versus Lady Esmeralda, gripe nasty. And Huey <laughs> versus Mr. George Pissed Off. Pissed Off, so yeah. These are some I know I had to beat our names. names. I said that right? shit out loud and my couch started floating. Done past <laughs> the spell. So yeah. Huey and Mr. George are going bar for bar in the Weave Nation Olympics until Huey gets hit in the side with the elbow. I know for a fact he got the wind knocked out. Yeah, of him. seriously. Gets the left and returns with a kick to the back. Damn. Into a kick to the chest. Damn. I'm crying, bro. My son getting dropped off by a nigga with no Not fun, that mean, no man. Come on. Not that mean. A turtleneck and a bear belly. This is sad, bro. She put this Ooh. man in the spin cycle and just got to working, bro. The cameraman is like, This nigga is trash. And decides to just pan away. 
and Huey right here is treating Unk like he's the barbershop, just refuses to lay a hand on him. But Huey's also dodging all of his attacks back too. That is until he runs out of space Fuck. on the bench and gets kicked away, starts rolling down Damn. hard. Got my son hitting the Peter Griffin on See. the ground. Unk starts running in to finish the job, but Huey's able to roll out the way. The cameraman pans away to show the other member of the hateocracy trying to catch Grandad Lacking while he's fishing. <laughs> Grandad is the one who killed their leader, yep, Stick Meter, Meter, so yep. now they gotta get back for gang. But Lord Rufus is old and senile, so he completely misses. But it don't matter, because he puts his hand up, he's hitting that close out on Grandad, and it's not looking good, mm. man. So then we go back, and these two are still auditioning mm. for the Weave Nation president position, until Huey gets his arm caught, throwing him and what's going on in the background is a straight murder <laughs> riley is getting absolutely baked by gripe and he like gets kicked away like a soccer ball Damn. look at the spit particles Damn. flying everywhere and everything throughout the entire show riley was always acting like he bought that life yeah for we done got click baited okay. I thought yeah. you were bad. oh god no <laughs> you ain't yeah, bad. bad you ain't yeah, yeah, yeah. not Riley's out for the count after <laughs> oh God. Zero I miss Billy, man. And Huey couldn't even win his 1v1, so 2v1 is impossible <laughs> with Rod Wave jumping. So they are all my boys with the most menacing faces, and I'm thinking, yeah, GG's. But luckily for them, the school bell rings and all the kids come out for recess, so the hateocracy just disappears into thin air. Between Riley, Huey, and Grandad, this is straight 2018 Cavs roster type of <laughs> One superstar and straight G Leaguer surrounding them. There's just no way they could beat the Nigga Avengers with that squad so they call in some help oh they god decide to call up bushido brown to come handle this for them. <laughs> they do a set and water avengers cameraman panning sun and watch yeah bushido and brown hearing. there's no, no way he came here to jeez leave. well it's about to be easy he yeah about that back to the nursing home real soon they start to surround their prey gotta make sure to get the angles right man so that we're jumping this nigga symmetrically god, and efficiently <laughs> this is how you know there's some real pros at this so granny runs in thinking she's sweet and gets her Guts rearranged. He then backflips out the way. And if you weren't convinced before, you gotta be convinced he's gonna get the job done now. This man starts emoting on them mid fight. They really got the black Bruce Lee on their side. <laughs> Punk is tired of the taunting, so he tries to sneak him, but he gets summed instantly. This ain't bingo, low bro. You're not dominant out here no more. You're not, You're that, not guy. that guy. <laughs> Lord Rufus is camping in the back, so Bushido Brown ducks out the way into a block, backflips mm. out the way, and then front flips Ooh. into a hit. Damn, I'm getting it. That's exactly <laughs> what the whole squad is thinking because Bushido is on timing. He then kicks Hunk away and makes Gripmaster chuck up two air balls before hitting her with a one inch punch. Bro is real life pulling out moves from Dragon Ball Z now. Mm. Hey, yo, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna need some nerd ass YouTuber to come power scale this motherfucker. Yeah. You gotta be at least planetary by now she gets sent flying and oh yep. shorty got the michael jordan <laughs> damn and gets kicked away she even got her hand on and she finna yam some shit god Until dang he pulls up <laughs> and with both feet stomps the shit out of her damn there's no remorse there's no holding back but shido brown heard about honoring your elders and said i don't i don't yeah. <laughs> he he did don't. give this man his chef's hat got the freemans in the bleachers cheering their ass off our ops are toast. <laughs> they thought they had it in the bag. But Shido ducks off the way of one slash. You know what? I go two more for y'all. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. But then, unfortunately, gets hit with a boom right to the dome. Luckily, that big ass afro <laughs> cushioned his fall, but look at his face, he can't believe it. And look at their faces, they were mad hyped 10 seconds ago. The momentum is clearly <laughs> about to shift. flips out the way of a kill shot, but gets caught lacking in the back. And they make sure to line up on both sides so there's no escaping. But Bushido Brown is locked in, blocking every single attack they throw at him. <laughs> Got them both putting up no hits, straight misses, <laughs> straight Doja Cat album. Until Lord Rufus gets hit away and reverses the attack into a filthy RKO. Got bro on the ground glitching. He don't know what the hell is going on anymore. But now that Bushido Brown is on the ground, he's caught lacking. So Lord Rufus goes in for the kill. Man. Bro aimed way too high, getting his weapon stuck in the tree. Bushido Brown Wait. knows that now is his chance. So he Wait. charges in. There's more. That was all part of his plan. Yeah, game. that was all for his plan. Yeah. First card catching him coming back Damn. the other way. Come on, man. That's too easy. That's too easy. <laughs> Jeez, man. Oh, <laughs> Damn, man. Oh, man. That was a that was a great breakdown, man. Great, great recap. Wow. That that episode was crazy. Whoo, that episode was crazy. <laughs> 
Oh man, edit is on point, man. And the edit is on freaking point. I I'm still, I'm still laughing with that that fight, that fight laugh, that dolphin ass laugh. I'm still laughing with that. Oh god, <laughs> fight is a funny guy, bro. He is so funny. But yeah, WVO man, great job, super um, blank boy. Great job. Ooh, wow. So, Squad, there you have it. That was my reaction to Blank Boy's Boondocks recap when Huey Riley got jumped by the Harry Actors. So, hilarious, man. This this brings back so much memories because, man, <laughs> this made so much memories, man. I really hope Blank Boy's going to do more Boondocks recaps. And overall, yeah, man, very, very, um, very awesome video, man. WW video. So, Hot Squad, that was my reaction for Blank Boy's. Uh, Boondocks recap, excuse me. I'm trying to catch myself here. I just got from work, y'all, so I'm trying to catch myself together. So, yes, thank y'all watching for my reaction of Blank Boys Boondocks recap. If you enjoyed this, please hit that button, comment, subscribe, share your thoughts. What's your favorite Boondocks episode and what's your favorite season? So, Hot Squad, I have my second reaction I'm going to react to. So, for the first time ever, I'm going to be reacting to Ch Shai Jisus. Yeah, Shai Jisu, I forgot to pronounce his name right. Shai Jisu's Jammer recap. So, Please stay tuned, y'all, and stay tight.